Are you being overwhelmed with phone calls from unknown numbers? If so, you're definitely not alone. We recently told you about an uptick in scam calls from strange numbers. Since then, people are now telling us they're getting multiple calls per day. Sometimes the number a mirror image of your own, or maybe just a single digit off. So what is the best thing to do? First, don't answer or block the number. But what measures are being taken to keep the calls from reaching you in the first place? Alexander Zanes found out. Alex. Howard, AT&T and Verizon both tell me they're working to stop the suspicious calls from ever getting through. They also say there are some measures you can take yourself to screen or block some of the calls. How many calls would you say you've gotten in the last few weeks? Maybe like six or seven. Yeah, they get yeah. pretty annoying. Yeah, it gets fairly old. Just yesterday, I think three. If your cell phone has been ringing off the hook with numbers you don't recognize, you've got plenty of company. Nearly everyone we stopped to talk to has experienced the same problem. Basically, I've been getting these like calls from the 808 area and sometimes Washington and California. And it's been happening a lot, like with my classmates and friends. The spoof calls or robocalls are an ongoing problem, according to wireless carriers, a problem they're trying to address. We at AT&T know how annoying they are. Obviously, we get them ourselves. Um, and it's been one of our big commitments to try to give customers more control over those unwanted calls. AT&T tells me they have a free app available that can help keep the scam or spoof calls from coming in. It's a free app. And basically what it does is it automatically detects and it blocks fraudulent calls before they even get to you. AT&T also says it's blocked billions of robocalls since 2016. Since that all launched, we blocked 2.8 billion, which is a lot. Obviously, there's a lot of work to be done because we all still get those annoying calls, but we're trying to make it better. A spokesperson from Verizon told me it's also actively monitoring its network to detect spikes in suspicious calls, along with working with other companies to develop new technologies to stop robocalls altogether. And again, experts say never call, never answer a call from an unfamiliar number, and calling back is also frowned upon. The Better Business Bureau says calling back scam numbers can lead to high charges on your phone bill. Marissa, back to you.